Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC South. And the Indianapolis Colts. All that and more coming up next. From the crossroads of America, we're at the center of Indianapolis, Indiana, as we get a look here at Lucas Oil Stadium. The Buck Heward, I'm Kate Scott up here in the booth, and the talk about this. year two year five year ten or tom brady you know like 30 years <laughs> later they still remember every guy in their class and when you look across and you see your peer you are linked together in that draft you're also linked together in this league that knows how hard getting any win on any day is and you want this one against your classmate as much as any season cut short at just four games good to have him back from florida anthony richardson well injury well it robbed all of us kate and i mean all of us from watching the development of anthony richardson such an unbelievable unique skill set as big and strong as any quarterback in this league and if he took last year's experience of watching gardner Minshew, just watching a pro go to work if he took that experience with his skill set well the sky is the limit Plunge up the gut, yields nothing there. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got to tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. Short pass, up and he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel it in. Plays on the table here for third and three. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Complete beyond And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Colts. Defensive coaches in the NFL say it all the time. Limit the big play. Keep these guys in front of you. Well, this defense is going to have to stay vigilant because this receiver, he can take the lid off the defense at any time. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Quick toss, headed left. And he's brought down after a short game. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. To the ground it goes. That's incomplete. Defender smart there to get a hand on that one. And now they're staring at fourth and long. I think we're starting to get a feel, aren't we, of why they like him so much in coverage. He reacts well to throws, is super adept at breaking up passes through contact, or like that one before they could ever reach the target. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. So now it's the Texans' turn to take the field for the first time. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. It didn't take long for C.J. Stroud to make an immediate impact into the NFL. And it didn't take long for me, Kate, to form an opinion that this guy is just different. 
He just processes the game quicker. Remember talking to Ryan Day on the practice field in Columbus, watching him in college, and he just alluded to that as well. It's the anticipation. It is knowing where everybody is and getting that ball out before any receiver will even break on the route. CJ was unique in that way, and that skill set has been a big part of his success. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play, and it sets up a Houston first. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. To the air, Stroud. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Back to throw, Stroud. We'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all. They try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. stop but this run gets him into the red zone down to the 15. Pickup of eight on the run and that sets up second and two. Here's Brown now. They cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's really what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Turn coming from the six. And he's brought down. And the offense will come onto the field. The Indianapolis offense headed out for their second drive of the game. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. This one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. 
And then it's a single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. I know we all love the big home run plays, the highlight reel plays. But as an offense, these are just the stay on schedule kind of plays. But I love the commitment to this run game. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. And eventually, you can take the wheel away from your opponent. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Well, that short pass gets tipped, and you then don't have much time to react to the catch. But he brings it in anyway to save the completion. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Here's Richardson. It is caught left side. And he's brought down right in the middle of that three-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Second and two next. From the 31. Shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. He's able to get this down with the 13. It's a game of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Colts. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. From the red zone now. to throw Richardson. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown. The coach get it down to a single point. Michael Pittman Jr. with the touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And the kick is good. And we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on the roughing call. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead. And that's going to award their offense a first down. The Colts ready to kick this one away, and away we go once more. And he got all of that one, that's for sure. But with our new kickoff rules in play this year, that means the football's going to be spotted at the 30. This Texans offense ready to up for its second drive of the contest. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. First 
and 10 now from the 30. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. team and the kicks away and this punt works out it's going to cross the 20 be touchdown at the 16 yard line now the indianapolis offense heading out they'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive which ended brock in a touchdown They're out and set. First and ten. They're going play action. Nice pass complete over the middle to the tight end. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Just about every offense since the beginning of time since the forward pass, Kate, has loved a tight end that can stretch the middle of the field. Man, I remember as a kid watching Kellen Winslow Sr. dice up right here between the hashes. And what a difference it can make for an offense. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Short side option here. He's running left. And he falls for the defense for a point that one right down the middle and they'll continue adding to their lead ready to kick this one away and away we go once more that's going to be taken in at the eight and a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. the houston offense out and ready to set up shop they were only on the field for three plays their prior series brock let's see what changes they make to take over here Tackle for a short game. 
I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Bob, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion or a premium in this league. Neither side separating much so far. We'll take a brief pause and head back to Lucas Oil Stadium after this. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. He's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. They go play action on first. Watch down the pocket. We can run it. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass. They didn't really keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB. They gave him just enough room to run. A good pick up. They've got second and four. From the 29. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Good. No problems there on 
another shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. In that close, in the red zone, you know they're upset. They couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. as we momentarily step aside. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Richardson back to throw. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. Play action on first down. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And it's going to be second down. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he has the Indian and first touchdown. point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. ready to kick this one away and away we go once more this one's fielded at the four yard line and in the end he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback it's at the 25 after the return now, now come the texans on offense they find themselves down 21 to 10 as they take over down yardage. 
They're set up at the 35 now. Some movement there before the snap. Right side of the line. This is going to back them up. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They go play action here. He's going to loft one deep to the left. That was incomplete. Couldn't make the connection deep downfield. Man, that ball looked good out of his hands. It just couldn't get through the defense clean. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Nearly intercepted. Oh, he almost had it. Couldn't bring it in. Incomplete. That brings up third down. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. He got to secure the pick before anything else. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Richardson. The Texans throws it in, and they will get him. And the defense comes through. And that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. This offense has been in a rhythm, settled in and found it in the first half. But hopefully that sack for this defense can disrupt that rhythm just a little bit. Kind of reminds me, Kate, in baseball, when you're facing an elite pitcher, just get somebody on base. Just make that pitcher think a little bit. Hopefully that sack for this defense does the same to the QB. The Colts are ready for the punt. And he's going to have to hit this one from the edge of his own end zone. And he makes the fair catch inside the 45. We don't get a return out of that punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Texans set up nicely as they come up to the line. First and ten. Throwing off the play fake here. This one falls incomplete. Okay, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception. But it was good enough and good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Across midfield and down into 
enemy territory. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, kid, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little game on top of it. They get an even 10 on that play. And it sets up a Houston first. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both total ball as a runner, and really importantly, as a check-down outlet on short throws. Again, left side. Here's Mixon. Down here at the 23 yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Okay, don't think for a second this is time to step off the gas. You can feel this defense right there on their heels. And now's the best chance to push the envelope and get aggressive. On the ground again with Mixon. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. So we're at the two-minute warning here from Indy. The Texans trailing in the early going. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. Has it in close. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And if they're in short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Turn starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Colts offense sent to head out. They're getting close to a minute to play, Brock, and they're going to need that time with a long field ahead. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's Richardson. He's on the move. Stepping up and he's going to run. And this is the ball. And the ball is So that was holding on the offense and a quick declination from the defense means this stands as a turnover. New set of downs for him from the 46. 
Here's Stroud. Completed to Collins. It's a pickup of 11. And it sets up a Houston first. They're set up at the 35 now. Here's Brown now. Got him in over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Options are open here. It's second and inches. To the air. Brown. No hesitation. And that one's caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They have themselves another first and ten. The nice thing about a drag route is it works versus zone. You can find that soft spot and get a completion, but they can be very effective when you've got an excellent route runner running away on that drag route for man coverage. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Throwing his foot out. He's got it. He's brought down real close to that. Houston calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. It's second and goal. is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. Third down for the gun. He just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that is fourth down coming up. With a halfway point from Indianapolis with the Colts out in front at the break. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the mobile quarterback, Anthony Richardson. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Well, if you love high-scoring games, no doubt you have been glued to your television so far. And no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but across the line there, that earns the holding penalty. That hold 
holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. Now it's Brown. Short pass caught by his tight end. We've heard it said, and I believe it to my core. Football is the ultimate team sport. And a well-run screen like that is the ultimate team play because it takes all 11 doing their job. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Again, this is Mixon. And he's going to be brought down at the 28-yard line. Only a yard for him that time, so now third and nine. here on the punt. The Colts and Anthony Richardson headed back onto the field. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. drive will start out with a first and ten. Richardson now escapes the pocket. Now here he goes. Give him 32 on that play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Oh, that just sucks the wind out of a defense. So demoralizing. So many guys do things the right way. We need to see a quarterback evade the pressure and go get that first down anyway. Following that last play, want to keep that pedal down. First and ten from the 45. They're running the option. Short side. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. He took hauling him down by the face mask to bring an end to that play, and that adds a cool 15 yards onto the end of the run. They'll enjoy a first and ten following the face mask penalty. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. This is reeled in by Pittman. And he gets this forward to the 19. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. From the 19. Quick hitter complete. And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. He grabbed whatever he could to make that tackle. Unfortunately, he got a whole lot of face masks, so add even more yards onto that play. So now then, after the penalty, this is first and goal. Throwing now, Richardson. So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock, getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. When, I think when you think about it, Kate, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners, 
they would be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. Yeah. That's well done. Gay to add the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Back to the line they go. It's second down. To throw, Richardson. Indianapolis 
Bucks first down. And before they come out of that versus zone, you have to see the underneath defenders. It's frankly easier, Kate, to throw it versus man-to-man. -man. You know where everybody is. But in zone, you better trust your eyes underneath. And when you do, there's completions like that to be had. Out of the option. He's going to keep it going right. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down, Colts. When they draw up these plays for the quarterback, these are the type of results they're expecting, Kate. Something that could tear a hole in the defense, move the chains, and just as importantly, and maybe most importantly, put a seed of doubt and thought in that defensive mind that the QB can run it. And he has the So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown. All right, Brock. So six points hinge on whether he secured that football without it hitting the ground. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. Most defensive-minded head coaches, when there's a score at play here, points at play on the board, you're going to take the risk and make this challenge. Those points safe on the scoreboard. The touchdown upheld upon review. Gay to add the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Colts ready to kick this one away, and away we go once more. Kickoff taken at the three. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. Now we get a look at this Texans offense. Second and six coming up here. Now the 
him to mix in. Into the second level past the 30. And he has it down to the 26-yard line. They pick up 20 yards there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Runs like that one, baby. That's where you could really see how locked in and in sync this offense is. The choreography up front to get all the blocking in place. The back's ability to see those holes as they open up. And the coach is finding the right call, Kate, for the right moment. It's beautiful to watch when the plan comes together. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Takes the handoff. Now to throw. He's got it at the five. And he'll go down shy the end zone. They mark him at the four. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Chance at six here. It's second and goal. They give it to him up the middle. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, Houston. The Texans shrinking the lead some in the third. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Get this drive started. First and ten. First play. They go quick out to the left. Complete. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Offense to the line for second down. There's a handoff up the gut. And he's going to bring it up to the 40 yard line before he stops. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. And this laid it down to approach here from the 40. They send him left out of the slot. They go again with Taylor. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Richardson. 
Ruffles it, and it's caught. And he's brought down right in the middle of that three-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Richardson back to throw. New set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. They're going play action. The team to throw. He almost got burned by it. The interception dropped and incomplete on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Richardson to throw. Finds a man on the right side. He's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. Quarterbacks will look for their tight ends short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. So we're through three here. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the four. Third and just two to go. Here's Richardson. You know, they call that the money game for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see the more of the guys continue to see this. There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. So now after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. Throwing it again here. And he won't escape this. The Texans take him down. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. You know, we do enough of these games, Kate, and I am a big fan of creativity. And the QBs today are some of the best to ever do it. But that's a situation where you got to know on first down, it's not time to be creative, especially if you feel the heat coming defensively. Just find a way to throw that sucker in the first row. It's second and goal. Another try following the sack. This throw is caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the pressure drives them backwards. Hey, I get it. You know, there are times as a decision maker playing quarterback, when you take a sack and you cut your losses. And when you get an opportunity in the red zone on third down, you'd love to give your guy on the other end a chance. Because a touchdown, well, we know in the course of outcomes of games, so much more influential than settling for a field goal. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. 
And that extends their lead to 14. Those three points could go a long way to securing this W. Makes a lot more comfortable knowing the other side's got to score a couple touchdowns now. A touchdown to field goal's not going to get it done anymore. The Colts ready to kick this one away, and away we go once more. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. We get that big old marker out. Cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. First and ten from the 34. Simple dive up the middle. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39 yard line. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Well, half the hay is in the barn when you get five on first down. And now they're in such a good spot where you can attack those other five yards in any way you want. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. You know, for pitchers, you know, you hear them say, gosh, you got to pitch this guy backwards. For defenses, you got to do the same at times, Kate. You just can't always run it on first. You got to mix in some high percentage pass plays. Otherwise, you're going to get hit right in the face for a loss just like that. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is cut. challenging the DBs in coverage. He didn't keep an eye on the lineman in front of him. He threw it right towards him, and it was easy to get a pop and swat away a potential first down. So it's good field position for the Colts as they get set first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Pittman's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. In a good spot here, second and inches. Short side option here. He's running left. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. And just in case this offense didn't have enough to contend with, 
Now you got to worry about a quarterback that could do what he just did. Take the ball himself for a big run. Still on the move. Coming to the line for first and ten. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 24. Getting out to his left. He's on the move. And they bring him down at the 18 yard line. Pick up a five on that play. And it'll be first down, Colts. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. On first down, they'll run. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know, because I've been around this league a long time, runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody, and maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown! The Colts make it a three-possession game. Point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. ready to kick this one away and away we go once more that's going to be taken in at the eight and that's where they'll begin the drive following the return here comes their offense out again they're coming off a fourth down try that didn't work in their favor let's see how that might affect the approach they take this time out And receiver Michael Pittman Jr. out and ready for their next series. Even though they've got a three-score lead, still a lot of time left. So they're going to try to grow it even further. Let's 
Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Straight ahead with Taylor. And he's going to fight his way forward for a modest pick up to the 43. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. some teaching tape for it. From the red zone now. He brings it in. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Richardson now. Has another slant. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. Michael Pittman Jr. with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead The Colts are ready to kick this one away, and away we go once more. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Their offense ready to take the field now. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. Set first and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. There's a bullet down the left sideline. This is caught. Looks like he stayed in bounds too. Great work. It's a huge pickup on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. If only every completion could get that kind of result. That's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. Looking to throw. Swell. Complete to down. And he's going to go out of bounds just short of that red zone. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing he woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. Third and a lone yard coming up. Shroud. This 
one's hauled in on the left side. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. That's good for seven yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Throwing is Stroud. The throw is caught. And he goes down, so they're set up with a nice first and goal as we've reached our two-minute warning. now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Everybody, that is certainly not their friend as they get set to try an onside kick. And the Colts are able to bring in the kick. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37 yard line. Well, I guess they kind of had to do it here, Brock. Yeah, it's called a half to. Yeah, kind of have to at this point in the game, huh? Okay, but like most things in this game, it did not work out for them. Yeah, let's face it. Even if they do recover that, probably not going to find a way to win. But this is a time where you work on things, where you do build to the following week. Got to find a way to flush this because it's just not been their kind of game. Markers reset, ball at the 37. careful and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger because what can happen from that Kate is you put some nice toppings on it a play action pass a shot that comes down the road for what looked like a very plain play eight yards to go well, let's see how they approach this second down back to back carries here and he got it real close but stopped just about a yard or so shy that first down Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Richardson back to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Simply part of the job description for any running back in today's game. You're out there. You're going to be one of your quarterback's most important safety valves. And you've got to be ready for that check down at all times. So the Colts get the win at home inside of Lucas Oil. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work. And really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win.